yoga, metaphysics, teaches you something. And what I really like about this teaching is that it incorporates the word God in a very practical, easy to understand way. Okay. One of the best ways of describing God is universal consciousness. When I say universal consciousness, I mean consciousness that penetrates everything. One of the best ways of describing God is universal consciousness. The kind of consciousness that penetrates everyone and everything. This is metaphysics. Chikri Yoga teaches that is a, there is a clearly defined aspect of our mind that is essentially God. Chikri Yoga teaches that there is a clearly defined aspect of your mind which is defined as God. In other words, every single person has one part of you that is absolutely immortal, <coughs> absolutely immortal, absolutely at the start of everything that was ever created. And in this particular area of you, individuality ceases. So in this area of you, there's no individuality, but it's conscious. In the area of you that I'm talking about, there's no individuality, but there's consciousness. Think of what I'm saying to you. There's a part of you where there's consciousness but no individuality. Close your eyes for a second, just two seconds, and imagine that. An area of you where there's consciousness, but no individuality. Keep your eyes closed or open as I carry on. In this area, we realize our minds as one shared consciousness. In this area, through meditation, through contemplation, through awareness, we realize our minds as one indivisible shared consciousness. Just imagine, if you can't feel just imagine for me. Not several beings, one. This gives universal feel to our awareness, making God universal consciousness amongst other things. So in this place that you all share, you are all one. And this one that I speak of is God. In this place that you all share, you are one. And this one that I speak of is God. With all of your eyes closed, when you go into the seventh chapter, you enter the realm of Satyaloka, the realm of God. And in that chakra, every single entity in it, which is every entity, is one. And that entity is God. Keep your attention there for a few moments. from that seventh chakra into 
to the lower six, we become individuals and we believe in separation. Our body takes form. But when we all go to this special seventh place, we're all one again. Whether you do it alone or we all do it together, in your consciousness, you are now one with all. If we all done it together, and we allow that experience to seep into our consciousness and into our lives, what happens? We suddenly don't hate each other anymore. We suddenly realize that we are one. There is no division. So those of us that are peaceful, those of us that are more harmonious with each other, those of us that fight for unity amongst people are more in tune with their seventh chakra. They're more in tune with the awareness of universal consciousness. They think it's strange to be divided into groups. They don't get it. So for all of you, as I finish this little bit of conversation, remember when you're trying to describe God or thinking of God, not to have it so linear and so human where there's a thing and you go to a thing and you arrive at a place and that place is bigger than your place. And all of these human ways of looking at things. Actually, the universe works in a much more superimposed way. Everything is on everything at the same time. But you need a mind that can slow it down and see it broadly as aspects that are happening concurrently. Humans work in terms of distance and space, and greater and lesser. The spirit doesn't work in that way. You're just aspects at the same moment. Okay? So when you meditate, which is what we're going to do now, you're backing up in the moment to the seventh chapter. And in there, you feel the oneness with the energy of God, and then finally the oneness with everything around you. And that is the combination of your